DJ Pro was able to fit so many amazing features into the software by separating it into different view modes. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you all of the best features of DJ Pro's pro mode this video is sponsored by murica ai an amazing ai music generation software and all the tracks that i'm using in this tutorial were created in murica ai so click the link down below to get started to access your view modes you're going to press the middle button and then we are going to go to pro mode now this is the part of the software where you could access the most features at the same time which is really important so most of the time and most of my tutorials i'm going to teach you guys using pro mode classic mode does have its advantages for some stuff but pro mode has more features so now the best part about pro mode is we can access at, we have our jog wheels our waveforms here and we have all of our features so now i could play a i could play a track i have my effects over here I have my effects here. I have a jog wheel I could use to scratch or manip manipulate the track. And then I have EQs over here. Also, you get the biggest view of your waveforms. So right now we have a pretty big view of our waveforms, but there is a hidden feature. So down here at the bottom, we have this part of the software. Right now we're in EQ mode. We could go to library or we could go to our looper and our sampler. But if we press the one that is highlighted again, it brings us to a giant view of our waveforms, which is awesome, especially if you're used to DJing with with the waveforms opposed to jog wheels. And these are active waveforms, so you could use them to scratch. You still have your bottom strip here with your play button, your cue button. And you also get... If you didn't notice, you get lows, mids, and highs, and filter. So a full EQ here, volume slider, BPM, a little loop feature, and you get a decent sized BPM slider. So this is a really great view mode to really get your mix down and really see what's going on. So now if we want to get the rest of the features back we just press one of these first i'm going to show you the mixer feature this is similar to the middle part in in classic mode we have eq here you could either have it just a volume slider with a filter or you could have your lows mids and highs i recommend keeping this open because now we could have a full mixer and then we could access other features and those features include neural mix a full way to control neural mix and all the features you could do with neural mix is here of course, you do always get this Neuromix slider, but if you want to be more advanced with Neuromix, you have this part, cues, loops, effects. The cool thing is using effects, the filter, EQ, volume slider, and everything at the same time, and a lot of, a lot of DJing involves doing a lot of things at the same time, so it's really great to access all of those features. Next, we get these updated jog wheels. These are different than the ones they used to be. A recent update, now we have information bpm how long you played the track how much you adjusted the bpm really good to have those information these aren't the biggest jog wheels in the software so they don't have the most surface area so they're a little bit harder to scratch with and manipulate the track with but they do give us the information and it does make up for it with having these big nice waveforms and the waveforms again are active waveforms that you could use to scratch or manipulate the track next is i'm going to skip over the middle one here for a second and i'm going to go over here this is the best view mode to use your looper and your sampler of course there is a dedicated looper mode but you lose a lot of features when you're in looper mode if we go back to pro mode pretty much the same thing the only difference is in the looper mode you have volume sliders for all of them that is there and then in pro mode you have to press this button and you lose it it makes it a little bit harder to use, but you could still control the volume if you wanted to once you selected your looper. So now you could set a loop and then you can use you could use the vocals from the track on, on the deck. So you could have a vocal only track. You could really let your creativity run wild. You could load up a, tr a scratch track. Everybody scream. Ah. Let's dance till the morning light. 
So that's a really great way to use the looper. Also, you could access the sampler here and then and then have all of the features up here while you're adding samples to the track and you have access to all the samples that you get, which is really cool. So now if we press the middle one, we get our library. So now we're gonna get the biggest view of our library, making this the best view mode to be in when you're organizing and creating your playlist and organizing your tracks. So you could search through title, you could find songs, you could also access your playlist and start making your playlist. Playlist is the most important skills to have as a DJ. So if you wanna learn how to create playlists in this amazing software, check out this video over here. Thank you.